Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on our channel. We're continuing down this road of history. This time I have a character, a Chinese warlord that was all custom made. I have a barbarian. I have a Viking and I have a medieval knight. Uh, these three figures were fully purchased items, but I'll start with the fully customized figure, the Chinese warlord. I made the hat for the warlord, and then I scrounged up parts from various places on the internet to include eBay. I actually had this sword for, for some time. I just didn't know when I would use it and decided it would make a nice touch here. I, I ended up getting a, a pouch this is actually a Viking's pouch, but it looks cool on this figure. So the outfit is black, the, the coat is blue, nice color combination, contrast. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. When I get a chance, I'll pick up a figure I have at my office at work, which is another Chinese warlord, and I'll put this figure back on the table with that figure plus another one that I customized. So I think you'll enjoy seeing that video as well. The Barbarian is from T.B. Lee. They also produced the Egyptian Pharaoh Ramses that I showed you in an earlier episode. They make great quality stuff at very economical prices. Uh, the Outfit on this guy is very good. I think it's actually made out of rabbit fur, real fur. It, it's not advertised that way, but I think it is. Uh, the The shoulder ornaments are, are cool. On one side's the skull, on the other side are these very sharp ends. That's replicated in the helmet with the horns. The helmet is very cool. You might not be able to see the battle axe, but if I put my hand in front of it, you can see it's made out of metal, actually. Very nice, very heavy, falls out of his hand a lot. But the outfit, everything, the facial sculpt, just perfect. When I saw it, I just knew I would have to have it. And the figure itself is very buff, so it's appropriate uh, for a barbarian. The next two characters are made by Ku models, C-O-O -O models, Ku models. They specialize in high quality and stuff. These figures are just exquisite. They deal primarily with the historical figures. This Viking, you might not be able to tell, but the chain mail is completely made out of metal, as is the end of the, the axe here. The sword is also made out of metal. The chain mail and the helmet is made out of metal as well. The material is great in terms of the cape, very soft to the touch. Just in the head sculpt. I just love this head sculpt the first time I saw it said, I, I'm going to get this figure as well. The other Coos model is of a medieval knight, and he is just as exquisite as this figure is. The helmet is made out of metal. The sword is made out of metal. The, the um, shield is very soft to the touch, as is the cape. The cape does have some wire in it, so you can kind of pose it any way you want to. And when we get to close-ups of the faces, I'll take the helmet off and you can see this is very unique in terms of a uh, head sculpt. Very, very much full of expression. So, oh, I forgot to show you the shield to the, um, to the barbarian. Actually, it's to the Viking, I believe. Yeah, to the Viking. Very colorful with straps. I didn't want to take away from the look though by putting the shield on. But this is actually 
part of it is made out of metal as well. And the little dots, rivets around the edge. So very cool looking. This is just a wonderful set. I hope you like what you see. We're going to pause for a second and take close-ups of each one of these characters full view. I'll turn them around a little bit and then and then we'll do um, close-ups of their faces. Here's the fully customized figure I had in this set of four characters. This is the Chinese warlord. He's very detailed in terms of the boots, the coat. His uh, sword is actually made out of metal as well. The pouch was a Viking's pouch. I just thought it looked cool and I thought I would put it on this character. I made the hat itself. And again, down the road, I'll show you how to make things that I guess you just don't know what's possible until you see it. So hopefully this is something you can add to your repertoire of uh, building customs. The coat, again, very nice, substantial coat. Bright blue colors. I like the way it contrasts with the black outfit. So I'm very pleased with the outcome of this character. Like I said, I want to bring another character from my office uh, to home and show you that figure that was completely purchased and compare it to the two customs that I made. So you'll see three warlords from the Chinese era. I hope uh, you like what you see. Here's the barbarian from TB Lee. You can see that the helmet is absolutely stunning from my perspective. It's menacing. It definitely adds a look. The, uh, the sword, or not the sword, the battle axe is very, very heavy. That's why it has a hard time staying in his hand. Very substantial, nice quality items here. I'll just turn him a bit so you can kind of see different angles. You can see that in the back, it's very tattered, very torn in terms of a, a cape. So he's been through some battles. His armor is cool. His outfit is equally cool. And I don't know if you saw this, probably not, because it's kind of hidden in the back, but he has actually some skulls here, about three skulls that hang from the side. Very nice. So there's the barbarian. We'll go to the Viking in a second. Here's the Viking from Ku model. And you can see the helmet is absolutely great as well. It has chain mail, actual chain. Chain mail, like I said before, uh, in terms of over his shirt. This battle axe is made out of metal. Just really nicely done. And the head sculpt, I just love it. It has some tattoos on the side, on this side. The cape is very soft to the touch. It doesn't have wire in it, but it looks great just, just hanging. So he has a, a sword here. He has another ax here. He's got a pouch, just completely decked out. And he does come with um, a shield, like I said earlier but I just didn't want to take away the overlook here, so I don't put the shield on him. Let me turn him a bit so you can see him at different angles here. Probably invest in a turntable sometime down the road. But I like the, the way I posed him. 
That's another thing we'll talk about down the road, is how to pose figures. I haven't done too much of that in the videos, but hopefully over the course of time, I'll get a chance to do so. So there we are, the Viking. Last but not least, here's the medieval knight. Like I said, you can basically pose the, the cape because it has wire on the inside. Very soft to the touch though, as is the shield. The helmet is made out of metal. The chainmail is not, but it looks great still. The sword is nicely done. It is definitely made out of metal. So let me get that back in. And let me turn around so you can see it from different angles. The, uh, the cape has, it can be pulled over the head for additional warmth. Just very nice quality with Ku models. They are definitely gaining a, a foothold in terms of ancient figures. So there you go, the medieval knight. This is a close up of the Chinese warlord. This is a close up of the TB League head for the barbarian. This is a close up of the Viking. This is a close up of the medieval knight. I'll take the helmet off so you can see what's underneath it. Pull back the chain mail on the head. And there you go. Here's a last look at all of our figures for today. I hope you like what you see. I hope you hit the like and subscribe button. We could certainly use your support. I do intend to keep showing you more customs, but now I'm weaving in some of the complete sets that I do have. I hope you, again, are enjoying the process. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you.